Well, hello there all. Halloween 2020 is upon us. Two weeks to go. We're busy here in the Dunroth Laboratory. Got a whole lot of fancy new things that we're gonna be bringing out this year. In the view of this COVID and we're not having a walkthrough, so. What are we doing? Well, the light show's getting insane-o mode. Getting the fog chiller geared up here. Whole bunch of other lights, lasers, effects, lightning lights, thunder gear in. Okay, so this is the DMX decoder, 10 channel or 30 channel, depending which way you look at it, but it's 10 channels of RGB or 30 channels total. There's two power packs there. There's where all the main light controls are coming from. The Chave Stage Designer 50 here. That's going to be running 48 channels or pretty much one DMX universe. 10 channels of RGB on the trussing here. So there's one right there. It's the stuff with the dark tinting right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one in the back. That's 10 there. Those are all going to be running off of this Chauvet stage designer. As well, I have another universe of addressable LEDs geared in on different channels coming off of their own DMX decoder that's also going to be running off of this. So that way I can individually control those sections and they'll execute the program or whatever that they're running while still picking in and out. So one, two, three, and four right there is this. Okay. There's our show there. Main plug. Here's our primary music. That's also going to be a, a, a addressable LED, and that's coming off of this controller here and those power packs there. Again, those other decoders are coming with that power pack. But for any of you who doesn't know, uh, DJ lighting in general has pretty much gone to cat cable. So you can see here these two newer decoders. They're actually using an ethernet cable. Imagine that, no more XLR. But I still got this one right here that's got DMX, uh, or XLR and ethernet. Moving on, our third switch here is the rope light and all the rope light and parkans that I assembled this year are gonna be running off this older Mercury 088 and ADJ sequencer. So I'm using the sequencer just for my ons and offs. And then uh, they're gonna run as well to the music or they're gonna execute their program. And we'll be three, three individual universes we're running and then the rope leg, I wouldn't consider that to be really a universe, just um, an audio to light interface from way back in the day, just an older style. Feel good. 